Where would you say you are in, in, as far as like rebuilding or re, re, either rebuilding, renewing, or like building a brand new culture here? Yeah, I would say we are definitely, um, we, we've taken off in terms of rebuilding the culture. Now we're nowhere near where we want to be in terms of the final product, mm -hmm. but every single day we're taking those positive steps towards where we want to be. For us, we, we really, really worked hard on study hall, making sure our kids were eligible this year, making sure that they had the best grades they possibly could, making sure the guys that were borderline going into their senior year, that they were NCAA eligible, uh, according to the Division One and Division Two eligibility standards, right? Making sure that we, we attack things the right way in terms of how we handle our academics and then making sure we're treating our parents with respect at home, making sure that we're doing things that are asked of us, not the second or third time, the first time. Right. I think the biggest thing is playing free. And I think when you put limitations on the play, whether it's, hey, we don't want to we don't want to play too hard in this situation or we don't want to go for the kill, as you would say, in this situation. Um, that's where you create problems because now it's kind of an imbalance in how we process things. Well, coach told me to play hard and go as hard as I possibly can every play, but now you're telling me, hey, ease up. Now, when things aren't going the right way, now you're telling me to pick it back up again. So it's like you can't play with the, the way our kids process. It's either one of two things. Either we're going to play as hard as we possibly can for the entire game or we're not. And that's kind of the mentality we're preaching here is, hey, you're going to play as hard as you possibly can for 48 minutes. There is no other option. Otherwise, those victories will become elusive because you guys are going to be in some adversity this year. You're going to be in some tough games. There are going to be some situations where you get up on people and they score on you and you got 40 seconds, no timeouts, 80 yards, you got to go and you get a touchdown to win it. Right, or you got to get a defense to stop in that situation in order to win the game. And for us, we just can't ever have a lax mentality. Um, I think that's one of the things that championship programs do is at all times, we are going to give you everything we have, no matter what that scoreboard says. And I think that's the same approach we want to take here. Yeah, I mean, I, ultimately, um, that's why I took the job, right? I wanted to be able to contribute to bringing the alma mater back to um, – prominence in terms of the way not just winning on the field but the way the kids are respected the way the program is respected and the way you think about Deer Valley football you know one of the things that kind of hurts is when you hear people that have been around Deer Valley football who say wow Deer Valley back in the day you guys used to be really really good Mm -hmm. We don't want to hear back in the day. We want to hear right now today, we are really, really good. And we're one of those teams that in this area, you're going to have to worry about. We want to be the, we want to be one of those teams that when I call to schedule a game, people are running and saying, yeah, we don't want to play those guys. Hey, go play the big boys because we don't want any part of it. Right. 